Let's learn another factoring technique. Factoring the difference of two squares. So, ano nga ba yung difference of two squares? A polynomial is a difference of two squares if it satisfies these two conditions. Una, it is a binomial and each term is a square. Tatandaan, kailangan dalawang terms at ang bawat isang term ay perfect square. Second condition, there must be a minus sign between the two terms. So, kung meron akong binomial, kailangan yung sign na nasa gitna nila, nasa pagitan ay negative or minus sign. For example, which of the following is the difference of two squares? 9x squared minus 25, x cubed minus 16, 8x squared minus 1, negative 4 plus x squared. Alin kaya sa apat na ito ang difference of two squares? Tignan natin si 9x squared minus 25. Difference of 2 squares kaya ito? Kung mapapansin natin, mayroon tayong dalawang terms. So, ibig sabihin, itong expression na ito ay binomial. Ang nasa ng sign ay negative. Check naman natin ngayon kung si 9x squared at si 25 ay perfect square. Notice that 9x squared can be written as this, 3x squared because 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Another, 25 can be written as 5 squared because 5 times 5 is 25. Nasagot ba natin? Nakita ba natin yung assumptions doon sa ating mga conditions kanina? Okay, so ibig sabihin si 9x squared minus 25 ay difference of 2 squares. So, po pwede natin to i-factor gamit ang technique na ituturo ko mamaya. For the second example, si x cubed minus 16. Obviously, x cubed is not a perfect square. So, hindi na kaagad siya difference of 2 squares. 8x cubed minus 1. So, in this case, 8x squared is not a perfect square. So, hindi na rin kaagad siya difference of 2 squares. For the last example, mapapansin natin that this can be written, okay, pwede natin to isulat na x squared minus 4 by commutative property. Papansin natin na ito ay binomial. Ang sign na sa pagitan ay minus. I-check na lang natin kung perfect square ba yung bawat term. Notice that x squared can be written as x squared because x times x is x squared. Another, 4 can be written as 2 squared because 2 times 2 is 4. Ibig sabihin, the last example also represents the difference of 2 squares. Ngayong alam na natin kung paano malalaman kung ang isang expression ay difference of 2 squares. Ang tanong natin ngayon, how do we factor the difference of two squares? So, apply natin si factoring the difference of two squares. You have to remember this, okay, as our identity, that the difference of two squares can be written or expressed as a sum, okay, as a product of the sum and difference of the square roots of each term. Yun yung ibig sabihin nito. So, una, let's say factor x squared minus 25, express natin ito as a square, okay, as a difference of two squares. So, take note that x squared can be written as x squared because x times x is x squared. Another, c25, pwede natin isulat na 5 squared because 5 times 5 is 25. Okay? So, take note, ang kinukuha natin dito yung mga positive na, kumbaga positive square roots. Okay? Para hindi tayo mahirapan or mas madali nating maintindihan. Now, ang gagawin na lang natin ay ito na, yung identity na natin. Nakasulat na siya na ganito, so gagawin na natin siyang ganito. Mayroong isang plus at isang minus. Okay? So, copy the base. Copy lang natin si x sa unang terms. And then si x din dito. And then we have 5 and we have 5. 
So therefore, the factored form of x squared minus 25 is the product of x plus 5 and x minus 5. So another example, let's find the factored form of 16x squared minus 49y squared. So unang-una, express natin ito as a square, okay? So here, we have 16x squared can be written as 4x squared. 49y squared can be written as 7y squared, okay? Since 7y times 7y is 49y squared. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. Now, na nakagantong format na siya, pwede na natin isulat ito as a sum or a product of the sum and difference. So, si 4x, copy lang dito. 4x ulit dito sa kabila. And then 7y here and then another 7y here. So, therefore, the factored form of 16x squared minus 49y squared is this one. Let's work on a very challenging, I think a very ch challenging one since it involves a fraction. So here, same process. Express this as a difference of two squares. So take note, isa -isa natin, the square root of 16 is 4. Square root of x raised to 6 i x cubed. And then square root ni y to the fourth i y squared. So here we have 4x cubed y squared raised to 2. Okay, since kapag sinimplify ito, ito yun eh. Next, the square root of 1 over 81 is 1 over 9. The positive square root. So 1 over 9 times 1 over 9 is equal to 1 over 81. Next, sulat na natin as a sum and difference. So, 4x cubed, y squared, 4x cubed, y squared, 1 over 9, and 1 over 9. So, let's try a very challenging example. For example, makakita tayo ng ganito. 18x raised to 10 minus 32. At first, hindi mo kaagad ma-i-express yan as a difference of two squares because... 18 is not a perfect square at si 32 hindi rin naman perfect square. So, una natin gagawin is to think, no? If there is another way that we can simplify this expression. So, may mapapansin natin that we will have a GCF of 2 because 18 and 32 can be divided okay, evenly by 2. So, meaning 2 is a common factor so we can take that out first. So, 18x raised to 10 divided by 2, 32 divided by 2, we will have this expression. Okay, now, notice that 9x raised to 10 minus 16 is now a difference of two squares. Okay, we can now express each term as a square. So, copy lang muna natin ulit dito si 2, and then express natin ito as a difference of two squares. So, 9x raised to 10 can be written as 3x raised to 5 square. Obviously, 3x to the fifth power times 3x to the fifth power is 9x raised to 10. 16 can be written as 4 squared. Now, sulat na natin ito as a sum and difference. Okay, product of the sum and difference. So, we have 2, 3x raised to 5, copy lang, 3x raised to 5 here, then 4 and 4. That's it. So the factored form of this expression is this. Let's answer a question, item number 8 from the 2020 MMC elimination for grade 8. So tignan natin kung madali lang. Actually, this is quite easy. So let's factor a squared minus the square of b plus 3. So, di na nga tayo mahirapan because naka-express na siya as a difference of two squares. So, what we have to do is to, of course, write this as a sum, a product of the sum and difference of two terms. So, here, ang ating base dito ay a. So, we write here a and then a. Okay, since a times a is a squared. Now, ang base natin dito ay b plus 3. Okay, so, sulat natin dito uh, b plus 3, dito naman ay b plus 3. 
So, obviously, hindi pa ito yung final answer natin because ang sign natin dito sa pangalawang factor ay negative. And it will actually affect these terms na nasa loob. So, simplify din natin ito. So, here, dahil positive naman, so, pwede na tanggalin na lang yung parenthesis dito. So, we have A plus B plus 3. So, negative, distribute kay B, magiging negative B, negative, mapunta kay positive 3, magiging negative. So, we have A minus B minus 3. So, this is the factored form of X A squared minus B plus 3 squared. Now that you know how to factor the difference of two squares, try mo to on your own. After a few minutes, balikan mo and see kung tama yung answer na nakuha mo. So for number 1, this is our answer. For number 2, we have this. Factor mo na kasi dapat yan si 25 as a common factor before applying difference of two squares. Then for number 3, we have this. I hope natutunan mo na how to factor the difference of two squares. Stay tuned para sa ating susunod na math video lessons. Maraming salamat sa panonood.